What up, peeps? KJ50 is in the building, and I'm here to bring you guys some Fortnite tips and strategies. And before I get straight into this video, it would be dope if you guys support the video by giving it a big thumbs up. And also, if you want to get updated on the new uploads that I do post, make sure you click the notification bell if you had not already, because I will be bringing you guys a lot of Fortnite tips and strategies and other gaming, you know, in informational videos, news, and things like that. So make sure you guys click that notification bell so you can stay on top of it, because it's going to be dope. I'm going to be bringing a lot of awesome content to my channel, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, we're going to jump straight into the video. So I'm going to be giving you guys three awesome tips to become better at Fortnite, getting your aim better, and on top of that, winning gunfights. So without further ado, we're going to jump straight into it. So starting off with tip number one is the sensitivity. Now, for the sensitivity, for me personally, I usually use lower sensitivity because... The lower your sensitivity, the better your aim might be. But like I said before, if you want to be like, if you're more of a person that's a fast builder and things like that, or if you can handle the speed, then you can't put it up. But for me personally, I love it when my sensitivity is lower because it just makes it a whole lot easier. So for my sensitivity X and Y, I usually use 0 0.4 for both of them just because it's just a good, it's just a really good normal speed for myself because it makes it a lot easier to get that kill right on side. I mean, sometimes it's, it's hard to like, you know, look back and forth because it's a little bit slow. But if you want to make sure you're aim is right on the spot it'll be good to have the lower you know usually the lower the sensitivity the better your aim is but if you want to be a better builder but if you want to be a better builder put your sensitivity higher or if you can handle the speed as well you can put it higher everybody works differently and for the wireless targeting sensitivity i use 0 0.56 and for the scope sensitivity i use 0 0.63 and this is just a really it's just more it's just a simple you know sensitivity for me because like i said it's very slow uh not too too slow but it's slow enough to where you can get that kill right on target because sometimes it can be a pain in the ass trying to get it straight away. But, like I said, I'm not really a fast person when it comes to sensitivity. I used to be, but, you know, I want to get my, uh, my, my, my aim right on target. So, it's really dope just to come around, you know, follow this layout just so you can get the kills right away. Now, starting off with my tip number two is staying calm. Staying calm is one of the most biggest is one of the most important things in this game because you know the game is extremely fast paced it's a fast paced game you know because you have to build in order to get the kill you have to build to get on top of other people and it's just everything can get chaotic at times but just being calm in the gunfights being calm in the building fights you usually tend you can tend to think better and tend to like you know you know, utilize the building spaces and things like that. So usually if you're, if you suck at building and you have people who overbuild you, staying calm is also good as well. Cause you can know you can get below, get coverage, maybe destroy the thing to build at the bottom to knock them all down or do, you know, just stay looking in the air. Sometimes just being calm itself is always better than just being very fragile and being very quick and energetic. Cause sometimes you can get a little bit nervous and then get sweaty hands. If you're very, if you easily, if you can easily sweat in your palms and then you might slip off your shoulder, things like that. So I just feel like just staying calm is very, very, good because you know you have to think fast and you can think you can use all that time to think and know what's happening but i know it's a very fast paced thing and sometimes things can just get very hectic and be making it it's extremely hard just to think what you have to do but if you could just utilize that and just stay calm and make sure you can get everything good then it, everything will be a whole lot easier in your gaming thing but if you want to work on staying calm i recommend going into you know going into the game not even trying going to like tilt or any over overpopulated area in the game and just do that and just try to try to pick on gunfights just try to pick on gunfights just so you can work on staying calm when you're in that moment because sometimes like i said it can get very hectic and you know you got to think twice trying to think and try to get that kill but just go into an overpopulated area just try try to work under pressure because when you're under pressure and you know how to stay calm under that pressure i guarantee you'll get the kills right away now starting off with my last tip and a lot of people usually tend to not mess with it. And I know it has a little bit of a low reputation, but for me, I love it. I love them a lot, and I feel like it's very, very useful. But I recommend getting control freaks. Yes, control freaks. I understand. It probably have a bad reputation. A lot of people probably don't like using them, but I do know that a lot of pro gamers use control, control freaks. Can they help out with their aim a lot? I know it's like, how can a controller or how can one little mini analog, you know, removable stick thing make your aim better? Just bear with me. I think it's extremely awesome. It's very, very useful. Um, and also, this is not a promotion thing, but I feel like it's very, very useful. I, I really, I love using it because it makes it makes my game a whole lot better. It's very comfortable. It's comfortable fitted, and it just it just makes my aim a whole lot better. It just makes my game experience a whole lot better. But it's just I don't know. It's just something about the control freak is very, very useful. And I know, like I said before, a lot of pro gamers use it, and it can really you can really get your aim on point, especially when you use sensitive a lower sensitivity. But like I said, if you're a fast sensitivity person, maybe it could work that way as well. But I really recommend control freaks. They're very useful very comfortable and on top of that 
it makes things a whole, it makes a bigger difference. It makes a bigger difference in your game, and I truly recommend it. But make sure, you know, you can get a quick pair. You can get them from Best Buy, you can get them from Games Hour, you can get them online. I think they go for 15 bucks. you can get them for two analog sticks. But make sure, you know, I just really recommend. But you don't have to get Control Freaks. It's really up to you if you're really already used to having, you know, a non-controllable thing on your controller. You, you know, that works out fine as well. But for me personally, I think Control Freaks are very, very useful, especially when it comes down to gunfights for Call of Duty or any other shooter that you want to play. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you guys, I hope these tips help you guys out. Um, I'm going to be bringing a lot more videos for you guys. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to play around with different videos for you guys. So I'm just trying to, you know, do a lot of different things just to, just to make my channel more intriguing. But a lot more dope videos coming soon. I'm going to be bringing a lot more Fortnite informational tip videos, news videos. And on top of that, just like maybe, you know, funny moments and things like that. So make sure you guys stick around with that. But if you go, and like I said before, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you have not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like i said before if you want to get notified click the notification bell because i will be trying to upload a lot more a lot daily for you guys so I, I'm, I'm just trying to bring a lot more dope content for you guys but i hope you guys enjoy it take these tips i hope these tips help you guys out and if you have any other tips or any other things that i missed in this video make sure you comment below and just have a big thing discussion going you know help the community out and things like that and whatever you want me to make a next video about make sure you comment below and i, I'm, I, I will be down to make the video for you guys but i see you guys later hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time.